So today I'm getting ready to do the jam work on the inner structures of the 1970 Challenger RT 446 pack, four speed car uh, for Mark. One thing that we've learned is when you cut these quarter panels off, that's the time to get in there and do the sound deadener because when they're on the car, you can't get it all the way down like factory did. So when the body man has it completely cut apart, we're able to go and do sound deadener from front to back, paint it from front to back. So when the quarter panels are installed, those hard to reach spots, they're already covered. So it's just a matter of going in and doing touch up where they welded. So when I also, when I do the jam work, we get in there while that car's apart. We get the Dutchman, the inner and outer wheelhouse, the trunk floor, the trunk floor extensions, the little tension rods that are in there. We'll also do inside the cab and the rear body panel. Any part that you can get on the back side of that car while it's apart, we get it then. So I notice on this particular car, we're painting it TX9 black. But if you were to go back and look at the fender tag, it's supposed to be EV2 Hemi Orange. And the problem that I have with this is over the years, Mark has what you would call kind of sold out. He has always been 100% OE, that's all we do. We don't, if it's, if it's not OE, it's butcher. And I'm sure you can go back to footage to see him quote that. We restore cars to original equipment specs. These cars are not customs, they're not modified. No chopping, channeling, or aftermarket parts are used. To set in motion a car's future, we have to dig up its past. We're hunting down history. We're turning over rocks and we're following urban legends. We'll travel to the ends of the earth to find the right parts for these cars. But I've noticed as he's gotten older, it's whoever's got the most money. So if you look back to Samuel L. Jackson doing those great movies, and now he's doing like Capital One commercials because they pay him. So pretty much at this point, you know, we'll bring in Vegas and Novas and Camaros and whatever's gonna pay him, we're gonna end up doing. Oh, I'm a sellout, that's gold, Jerry. Gold, Jerry. He's out of his mind. I am not a sellout. You never see me doing that. I brought a car back from the dead. I fulfilled a dream and I did it all while having a blast. Well, and getting paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Bunts and burners, nice little learners. Coin. Bunts and burners. <laughs> nice little learners. Cash. ka -ching. Because a guy wants to change the color of his car, a non-numbers matching car, he wants to go from a, a orange to a black, what do I care, right? I don't do it because they pay me extra money on it. It's their car, all right? Yeah, I don't tell you how to dress. In this case, with Mr. Cash's King saying paint the car black, that's great. It covers quick, it's an easy color to spray, it's just the car's gotta be perfect. It's just so ridiculous that he would say I'm a sellout all because the guy wants to change the color of his car. He's the one that is a walking billboard. Just check him out sometime. Even watch him walking around here. Watch him in the break room. Everything is a chance to do a number one drink. You don't see me doing that. Pull his pants down and see what underwear he has on. I bet you there's some kind of a brand name on the underwear. I don't follow the same sites he does, so I won't ever see that. But I'm just saying, you know, I don't know if you can leave that in there. I don't really care, okay? This is my 15th season, <laughs> all right? I pretty much do what I want. I cut that out too, because if the network sees it, they're gonna get mad. People send me nice clothes all the time, and I like to wear some of them. But that doesn't mean I'm a sellout. That just means I like to wear nice stuff. That is just not true, all right? Go take a look at his Instagram page. Go look at his stuff. He actually had our paint gun company etch a picture of his daughter onto his paint gun so we could promote it. That's, that's desperation. That is low. That's something you won't see the Iceman doing. I am not the sellout. Isn't this your gun? Oh, yeah, no, I had not my birth name. So Iceman, that's true. But I mean, I'm Mark Gregory Warman, right? You don't see a picture of me and my baby, Mark Gregory Warman written there. That's Iceman, that's for, and where did you get this? Why don't you stay out of my office? Iceman. <laughs> What's the question again? <laughs>